That's former President Trump inside a New York City courthouse where he is a defendant in a civil fraud case. The camera was briefly allowed inside, and it caught Mr. Trump locked in a stare down with the judge, who's already ruled that Trump fraudulently inflated the value of his assets. As Les Trump reports, what happens in this case could decide whether Mr. Trump retains control over his business empire. It's a staring contest in open court. The former president scowling as he locks eyes on Justice Arthur Engeron, who seems unfazed by Trump's glare. He removes his glasses and mugs for the camera. On the other side of the courtroom, four rows behind Trump, another stare down as Trump's arch foe, New York State's Attorney General Letitia James, fixes her gaze on him. Hang on, we have some pictures from inside court. This is unusual. The extraordinary scene caught the news networks by surprise. Cameras are not usually allowed inside courtrooms in New York. We're seeing something that we frankly did not expect. There's a camera in that courtroom. But not for long. The cameras were ordered out before opening statements began. Trump had the option not to show up here at New York State Supreme Court, but he seemed determined to make a stand and put on a show. The day's drama began at 9.15 a.m. when he departed Trump Tower. His motorcade making its all too familiar procession through the streets of Manhattan to a downtown courthouse. No one is above the law. Before court, the and attorney general and Trump traded barbs in tit for tat remarks. He made a solemn entrance, waiting for the horde of camera crews and reporters to quiet down. The eight minute rant made him late for court. They stopped for lunch at 1 p.m. and Trump's security team was seen carrying seven large bags of takeout from his favorite fast food restaurant, McDonald's, into the courthouse. The judge has already ruled that Trump and his sons, Don Jr. and Eric, who was by his father's side today, committed civil fraud. The trial is to determine how much their penalties might be. The attorney general wants Trump to pay $250 million. Is it any wonder he's scowling? 